Supergirl has been one of the most improved series in the Arrowverse, especially when it actually came to the Arrowverse and started to interact with all the other shows. It truly stepped out of the shadow of Superman, and Kara Zor-El is now a household name, as she should be. But because of the global lockdown and the rushed ending to the show's fifth season, there are a lot of questions heading into season six, as well as a lot of interesting bits of information that could come out. So join us as we reveal to you eight reasons why you should be excited for Supergirl season six. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number eight, Leviathan Lives. As noted, the global lockdown put a bit of a rush on Supergirl season five. It ended with its 19th episode and not the 22 planned ones, which ironically worked in its favor because the final episode, Immortal Combat, ended on quite the cliffhanger. Multiple ones, in fact, but we'll break this down by evil group. The main threat in many ways in Supergirl season five was that of Leviathan, a group that was very recently the focus of a major DC Comics event, as well as a group that was once ruled by Talia al Ghul, believe it or not. But that's another story. This version of Leviathan was revealed to be a group of extraterrestrial beings that used various pieces of technology to influence Earth for many, many years. This would lead them to Andrea, who took over the Daily Planet and used her parents' company Obsidian to make technology that Leviathan could use to take over the minds of the entire world via a VR program. If you haven't seen the show, trust us, it makes sense. Leviathan wasn't just playing in the shadows though. They had their own agents that they corrupted and used to further their ends while boosting their technological goals. What's more, they gathered loads of kryptonite to combat Supergirl and had to be dealt with in an epic fashion, not just by a legion of superheroes. Not the actual group, but I couldn't resist the reference. But by having one of their leaders captured in a literal bottle, However, one of them got away, and with a betrayal on their mind, you can bet that they're going to continue to try and take over. Who would be foolish enough to betray gods, basically? Like you have to ask. Number seven, the life and times of Lex Luthor. I was the man of tomorrow, not him, not him. Lex Luthor is a villain who originally wasn't going to be brought into Supergirl, but teased heavily even bringing in his sister Lena Luther and mother Lillian to round out the Luther family. Anyway, after his arrival in season four of Supergirl, actor John Cryer shocked everyone with a great portrayal and thus got his life literally and figuratively extended. He was a major player in Crisis on Infinite Earths, even cheating destiny itself to make himself a paragon and thus make it to the final battle. When the multiverse was reset, he found himself as a beloved hero of the world even winning the Nobel Peace Prize and being the owner of the DEO. Obviously, Lex being Lex, he couldn't go and just live a decent life. Oh no, he decided to go and plot and scheme and loom larger over Supergirl and her allies because he knew he could expose them all and cause a lot of problems if they didn't back off, which they did for a while. Lex even aligned himself with Leviathan so that he could move his own plans forward, all while sowing more seeds of doubt and anger in Lena so that she would go even harder to expose Supergirl as a fraud and more. Yeah, Lex has been busy. But at the end of season five, Lex won yet again. He was able to take the bottle containing Rama Khan and his allies and hand them over to his mother saying, let's get to work, doc. No doubt he's planning to use the god's powers and abilities to go and make himself even stronger, which is a very terrifying thought. But we know Lex will lose in the end, so we're very excited to see how Luther goes down, even if it's by the hands of a family member once again. Number six, Lena's redemption. I didn't know I was helping them, but I did, and now I wanna help stop them, so. From the beginning of the series, Lena Luther has been a character you've both rooted for and hated. On one hand, she's Lex's sister, and as she would prove, would be just as sinister as he at times. But she also desired to prove that she was more than the Luther name, even starting a new company to try and prove that. But in the aftermath of the season four finale, Lena was not a happy camper because she had to find out from Lex and not Kara, who was a good friend of hers by that time, who Supergirl really was. And that did not play well with Lena. 
to the extent that she used her own technologies to try and take down Supergirl and expose Kara and make her pay for what she perceived as a major betrayal. Even going so far as to trap her in the Fortress of Solitude with kryptonite gas while she teleported away. Not cool, Lena. This storyline was honestly very divisive in the fanbase because many feel that Supergirl and Lena are in love, and that's what fueled Lena's anger about Supergirl's identity, and they still want to get them together. But on the other side, Supergirl fans in part see Lena as an abuser, and not right for Kara. At the end of Season 5, the two did reconcile as Lena did a lot to try and stop Leviathan, but Lena still has some skeletons in her closet from the past seasons that she needs to clean up. And even then, you have to wonder just how cozy the two will be with each other given all that's happened. Number 5. Superman and Lois A smaller thing, but something we are indeed excited for, is the arrival of Supergirl spin-off series Superman and Lois. Superman arrived in Season 2, in full at least, and has been a recurring character ever since. Between him and Lois, they've wowed fans and critics with their takes on the characters and thus are getting their own show. How does this relate to Supergirl? Simple. The idea of them crossing over into each other's shows on the fly seems not just logical, but likely. Now, yes, we're not saying that Kara is going to be a true recurring character, especially since they want them to stand on their own two superhero feet, but the potential is there if they want it and they could even do a yearly super crossover between the two shows to have some fun and even further expand the lore. No doubt many fans would be up for that, so we'll just have to see if they do it. Number 4. World's Finest? We just lost another engine. We're going down. Brace for impact. The crossovers of the CW DC comic shows are a big deal. They started out small, but as time went on, they got bigger and bigger until finally they did Crisis on Infinite Earths and shook everything up in the biggest way possible, including merging the worlds of the main shows so that they all were on one Earth. This has fans very excited, especially since many smaller crossovers are allegedly coming in the next seasons of the series, though it should be said that this was before the lockdown screwed everything up. Ever since Elseworlds, Fans had wanted a very special crossover called World's Finest, a reference to Batman and Superman, but in this case, using Batwoman and Supergirl, something we totally support. The only problem is that Supergirl is cozy with Kate Kane, and Ruby Rose, the actress behind Kate Kane, has left the Batwoman series. And apparently the showrunners aren't going to recast Kate, they're replacing her full on. This is a bit bad for the world's finest vision because Kate and Kara had a serious relationship built on trust and loyalty, as perfectly shown in Crisis. So to throw in the new girl and try and make it work, we're not down with that. But if they do just recast Kate Kane, we definitely want world's finest. Number 3. Brainy I am Brainiac 5. Half computer, half organic life form, all Kaluan, and not to brag, but a 12th level intellect. There was a lot going on in the Supergirl season 5 finale that kind of got rushed over because of the lockdown. Not the least of which was Brainiac 5 and his near fatal sacrifice that he did in order to imprison Rama Khan and the various other members of Leviathan. In short, Brainy doesn't look well, and he appears more like the true Brainiac than ever before. Not to mention he broke off his relationship with Dreamer in order to focus on just Leviathan. So what will his mental state be in Season 6? How will it affect him and Dreamer going forward? These are questions that keep us up at night. Number 2. Alex Hey! Kara! Alex Danvers has been the rock of Supergirl in many respects even as she has grown into a solid character that fans adore. But in Season 5, she had to go through a lot on her own, including the confirmed death of her father Jeremiah, and nearly overdosing on Leviathan's VR tech. Even going so far as to make a reality where it was she that was Supergirl, which we're down with, just saying. Add to that, to help take down Leviathan she had to resign as co-director of the DEO, which obviously backfired in the end before Lex Luthor, who ruins everything. Here's hoping that Alex has a bit more stable of a season, because she deserves it. Number 1. John Jones Where are you, Manchester? 
The being known as the Martian Manhunter was one of the biggest shocks in the history of Supergirl, showing that the people behind the scenes still know how to surprise. Season 5 was huge for Jean as he had to fight and then reconcile with his long lost brother, Malefic, and then be a paragon in crisis on infinite earths, and then set up the tower in order to better save the world and not have Lex Luthor know what the team is doing. Jean is one of the most consistent characters on the show, so much so that we're eager to see how he progresses in season 6. Could he and Megan go off on a new mission? Will Malefic return for any reason? What new threats will arise that will test John? We don't know, but we're pumped to find out. So what did you think? What did you think of this look at Supergirl season six and what we think will happen? Are you pumped for the next season? Which character do you hope gets a big spotlight? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.